Skilly wop do da 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 do da 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 You're not gonna wear the little thing. What's going on? Marco, what are you? Turn on your love light, baby, let it shine. But let it shine on somebody new. You thought you had me fooled, but I ain't blind, baby. I got some news for you. When you're hiding, honey, all over town. I change my point of view. Oh, you think you'll break my heart by putting me down, but baby, I got some news for you. I got a little news for you. You think that I've been sitting home all alone, waiting for your love to come around, wishing, hoping by my telephone. Where'd you get the idea to do a strip tease? The gym. On the Stairmaster, I read this article about how to have an affair with your husband. Mm. I'm glad you read that. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're unstoppable tonight. I don't know what's gotten into me. Mm. <laughs> what was that? Oh, God, Nelson, what was that? I, I don't know. Did you turn on the alarm? You were supposed to do it while I was getting the champagne. Oh, I don't remember doing it. I was so busy getting everything ready. You didn't turn on the alarm? Nelson, lock the door. I'm not locking the door in my own home. This is bullshit. Nelson, lock the door, honey. This is explainable.
don't believe it. Oh, oh. oh God, no, no, please. Oh, no. Bye bye, this boy. Is this your advice as a lawyer, Jack? It's my advice as a friend. What's this? It's a nine millimeter. It's probably the most popular handgun on the market. Well, it's not popular here, Jack. Put it away. You're the one who said you wanted to be ready for the next time. There you go. I was talking about maybe a better alarm system. I'm not keeping a gun in my house. That's stooping to their level. Come on, look, see, it's not loaded, all right? See that? See? Now watch. See how that feels in your hand. <laughs> that feels pretty good, huh? Actually, it's... <laughs> it's not bad. Oh, did I tell you or did I tell you? You got it now. Yeah, that little baby evens the odds real quick. Now, you keep one eye closed, right? There you go. Work it. See, now it's working for you, not against you. He's the target, not you. That's it. He's coming through the door. Line that cocksucker up in your sights. God, sweetheart, I'm sorry. What the hell are you doing? It's all right. He's not all right. I don't want any guns in this house. I, I was just trying to help. Help what? Get us all killed? Relax. Nobody's going to get killed. Get that thing out of here. Now. What are you smiling at? Just a couple words running through my head. Like what? It's like pussy, whipped. It's not like that. Oh, yeah. Right. Of course it is. Aren't you working today? I, um... Decided to take the day off. Yeah. Maybe you should get out of here for a while. You really think you'll come back? No, I'm just saying maybe you could use a breather from all this, you know? Hey, I'm going out to Rancho Verde this weekend. What do you say you come along and uh, I'll show you that property I was telling you about? How much is this one going to cost me? What? It's a primo opportunity, man. This is the real deal. It doesn't come along every day. I don't feel comfortable leaving Margo alone. Yeah, we'll bring her along then. You could both use a break. I don't know. You're wrong. And prove it to me. Drive up with me. I'll think about it. This Rancho Verde project is a real fucking money tree, you know? Here we go again. No, I mean it. How can we go wrong, you know? Buy a few acres for a song, throw a shack up on it. Next thing you know, you write a huge chunk off your taxes. So, you want me to buy a few acres? Well, no, I got plenty of schmucks for that. I want you to be my partner. Partner? Uh-oh, he goes in for the kill. Listen to this. We can get a thousand acres for a hundred bucks a pop. Now that's fifty thou a piece, right? Then we can sell them off for ten times that. Well, how can you get them so cheap? Some unusable land clause. You can't officially develop it, but what the hell? We'll get around that. Yeah, it sounds like a lovely place for kids. What's with this asshole? Jack, 
Rio. Jack! Jack, I don't think it's a good idea. Jack, I don't think this is a good idea. Jack. <laughs> Jack? <laughs> this guy's fucking nuts. What the fuck around, city boy? Eat shit, asshole! I want that finger, motherfucker! I want to shove it up your fucking ass! Sweetie, it's right here. Here it is. You okay, man? That was just brilliant. What? The guy had it coming. Oh, that's good. So then you kill us all. Do you ever just think... Yeah, you mean like how you should give it a rest right now? Come on, you guys don't do this. I thought this was supposed to be a vacation. Okay, look. I'm sorry. I swear, I swear, I'll be a good boy from now on, okay? Okay, kiddies, if you need to bleed your lizards, now's the time. It's gonna be squatting in the bushes from here on out. What was that for? Because I love you. Hello. Hmm. Are you the sheriff around here? Yes. Well, some reckless driver tried to run us off the road. About 30 miles back. Did you get his license? No. But it was an old, very faded, dented truck. Let's hide the trucks around here. Do you have any idea who it is? Nope. You don't take American Express? All right, not sure. Progress, you know? You should try it sometime. And now, you got any cash on you? Bingo. When was the last time you heard quiet like this? All part of the subtle charm of Rancho Verde Estates, my friends. Beautiful, huh, Margo? Breathtaking. What are you thinking? Besides, what are we doing here? Come on, sweetheart, this is good for us. It's good to get a little distance between us and the city, you know? Get away from all the... Hey, Nell, come here, squeeze off a few. Uh, no. Thanks. Come on, come on, give it a try. You gotta start getting used to these things. Would you mind if I, um... No, do whatever you want. Now, treat it as though it were a woman, with a little tenderness. Don't be surprised when she kicks your back, though. Hey, hey nice shooting, Tex. And <laughs> she sure does kick. All right, line it up. Breathe out before you shoot. 
and squeeze the trigger. <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom. Okay, hon. Margo, you want to try this? <laughs> you know, Jack, I think you're really on to something with this Rancho Verde thing. Shit, yeah. Would I steer you wrong? Don't answer that. Give me that. I think you missed him, Jack. I got it. No, I think you missed him. No, 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 it just went off to die. What do you think, Margo? Jack? How long has Margo been gone? I don't know. Margo! Well, what happened to her? Maybe we shot her. <laughs> Jack, don't screw her up. I don't like this. Well, relax. She probably went for a walk or something. She'd be back by now. Margo! What the hell? Let's go look for her. Jack, this does not feel right. Don't worry, man. We'll find you. Um, let's try up there. She wouldn't have come up here. Oh. Uh, I figure if we get a little height, we can see way down into the valley. I don't think we should be up here. I mean, what if she's back in the car by now? <laughs> we got some good exercise. It's gonna be dark soon. Nelson, don't fall. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jack, that's not funny. Uh-oh. Jack, what are you gonna have? easy. Careful. Oh, God. Please. Be careful. Oh, God. I got you. Oh, God. Please. Oh, Jack. Oh. Bye bye, piss boy. So you say Mr. Yeager lost his footing and started to fall. You ran up to try to grab him, but didn't get there in time. Yeah. Uh, I, um, I tried to get to him, but it was, uh, it was too steep. It was getting dark. And I nearly went over the edge myself. Jesus. 
Where did you say Mrs. Yeager was all this time? She, um, she went for a walk, I guess. She wanted to be alone. I just feel like, like it's all my fault, you know? I feel like I should have talked some sense into him or something. I'll tell you what I think. The best thing for us to do is get you and Ms. Yeager a couple of motel rooms, let you get a good night's rest, and we'll go out at first light. Thank you, Sheriff. Hey, call me Red. You'll be in three, Ms. Yeager. Mr. Greeley will be in four. Ms. Yeager, I realize this isn't real fancy, but I think they'll get you through the night. Now, if you need anything, anything at all, I want you to call me. I'm going to give you my home phone number. Thank you. And try to get some rest. I will. Thank good, you so much. Good night. I'll be by for you around five in the morning. Sounds good, Red. Try to get some rest. I'll try. What did I just say? Unbutton your fucking blouse. That's a girl. There you go. Oh, yeah. And now take off your bra. Take off your bra, you fucking bitch.
Will you take a look? Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. <laughs> Talk to me. Tell me again. Uh, All the assets. Yes. Every fat fucking juicy policy. Yes. Double fucking indemnity for accidental death. Anything, oh God, we can have anything we want now. Ms. Yeager, Ms. Yeager. Hey, there's the man. Good morning, Mr. Greeley. I hope you were able to get some rest. I tossed and turned all night. Well, I guess that's to be expected. Good morning, Ed. Thanks again for last night. I was just trying to be a help, ma'am. You too, Jack. Don't mention it. Well, I guess we best get on with this. Says right up around here somewhere. Yeah, just keep going up there where the road ends. You sure you're okay with this, Margo? I think so. <laughs> oh, Lordy Red, you could stand to get in shape. It's right up there. All right. Maybe, uh, maybe you two should wait here. It may not be pretty. Sounds good. You sure this is the place? Of course I'm sure. Why? Well, I just don't see him yet. You know, a lot of these cliffs look alike. Are, are you sure it was here? No, no, this, this is the spot. God damn it. Maybe, maybe wolves dragged him away. They'd have to drag him a long way. There ain't a wolf in a thousand miles of here. Coyotes, maybe, but hell, they don't like going into cactus. We have to find my husband's body. I, I, I want to give him a proper burial. But ma'am, your husband may be alive. Oh, God. That would be a miracle. I just assumed that I don't feel so well. Well, ma'am, I don't know if this can help you breathe easier or not, but I'm awful good at finding people. I was, anyway. Back in 69, I was part of that raid on the Spawn Ranch. We chased that Charlie Manson and that bunch of his through the desert for about a week. You must have heard about that whole helter-skelter thing. Uh-huh. And they were hiding out, too. I'm sure Mr. Yeager is doing everything he's able to help us find him. I'm sure. Make the calls 
to see if I can't wrangle it uh, up a chopper. That sounds good. Okay, see you in a few. Could you be so stupid? What the hell was I gonna need bullets for? I was about to push him over a 200 foot cliff. I can't believe this. You shot them all off. Look, Northland was like a little kid out there. He's loading shells right and left. I wasn't watching. So what do we do now? Throw rocks at him? Relax. We'll get more. Here? That would be real smart. Look, calm down. All right? I'll take care of it. How'd it go? Very low profile. And the bullets? No problem. Hey, you forgot your bullets. Thanks. Howdy, ma'am. That's good. Very low profile. Mr. Yeager! What? Can you hear that? No. Let's try it with that. So you say Mr. Yeager lost his footing and started to fall, and you ran up to try to grab him, but didn't get there in time. Nelson! <laughs> myself. I just feel like, like it's all my fault. I should have talked some sense into him or something. hearing things, Margo. Shit. Well, you don't seem to have any better ideas. And the ones you've had haven't been exactly brilliant. Yeah? You think you can find someone better to kill your husband? Be my guest. Baby, this isn't just about killing him. This is about us being together. It's about the money, and you know it.
Oh my God, would you look at that? <laughs> what a beautiful fucking sight. I'm your happiest victim. Yeah, I got the bastard on the run now. God, I wish I could see him. Is he close? Yeah, he's real close. Margot, get over here, quick! Shit! Let me do the talking. Okay. Stay with me. Yo, Red! You're sure a sight for sore eyes? Looks like you got yourself in a situation there. Yep. Yeah, I'm frustrating. We were, we saw some smoke coming up from over that ridge and we were racing towards it, we got stuck. Thought it might be a signal fire. Yeah, we can only hope. What do you say? We get unstuck and uh, you can go and check it out. Well, hell, why don't I just give you a hand here and then we can all go together? Even better. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. Oh, no.
Seemed like it was around here somewhere. Man, you sure got better eyes than I do. I didn't see squat. Well, maybe we should split up. I don't know. I mean, you know what happened the last time. Yeah, I know, but time is of the essence here. If we split up, we can cover twice the area. Yeah, but if we stay together, we got three times as many eyes to look for him. He's my friend, Red. I mean, why don't you let me handle my half of it and you handle yours? Look, I just happen to think that I know this territory a little bit better than you do. I don't want you guys winding up in another ditch or, or I, worse. I understand, but I'm just oh thinking God. that if we... Ms. Yeager. Uh, Margo, you okay? I felt dizzy. That sounds like heat stroke. Let me go get some water. Ms. Yeager, here's some water. Take a sip of that. I think I'd better get her back to town. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna stay here and keep looking for Mr. Yeager. You found Nelson? Well, not yet, ma'am. But don't you worry. I'm gonna be looking twice as hard until we find him. You're a good man. Thank you, ma'am. Why don't you keep this? You may need it. We'll see you back in town. Sounds good. <laughs> I'd like to put a rescue effort on my gold card, if I may. <laughs> oh, you don't take American Express? <laughs> well, how about Visa? No? Oh. <laughs> my MasterCard. <laughs> Discover. <laughs> No, no, I, I called the hospital over at Ridgecrest. They, they hadn't seen anything of them. I hope they're not lost, too. I got my hands full. Yeah. But look, you, you give me a call if they show up, okay? Yeah. Thanks, Ben.
What would I do without you? Same as you do always. Just be a lot hungry. <laughs> hey, Tilly. Why do you suppose that Mr. Greeley would take the time to smoke a cigarette when he'd just seen his best friend fall off a cliff? Maybe he was smoking on the way up. I doubt it. I made that climb. He'd need all the breath he could get. I don't know. Maybe you're right. Turn some heat on, detective. It's chilly in here. Night, Tilly. Night.
No. No. Damn you! Don't leave me! God damn it! Why is this happening to me? Why? This is bullshit! This is bullshit! That's what you saw? No. I don't know. Real good, Jack. We're chasing a reflection. No, no, no. It, it, it was moving. Well, what are you waiting for? Shoot it. Don't let it get away. Would you get off my ass? I'm doing the best I can. That's what I'm afraid of. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. And you guys scared the shit out of us back there. You guys came out of nowhere. Sorry about that. We thought you all were a couple of hunters. Kind of wanted to give you a little spook. Yeah. Got yourself a helicopter, huh? Yeah. Yep. That's great. You feeling better today, Ms. Yeager? Oh, very much. Thank you. I only got a night's sleep. She, uh, she started feeling a little better after you left yesterday, so we decided we'd keep on looking. That would explain why you never showed up at the motel. Yeah. Uh-huh. Tell you, I could, could use a good night's sleep, though. You know, those bucket seats are murder on the back. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. That's a real nice gun you got there. Oh. Yeah, you know. Just in case. In case what? Well, we saw some uh, coyotes last night. Margo got a little spooked. Hmm. We swept this area real well. If Mr. Yeager were around here anywhere, we would have found him. Great. You know, I thought maybe we'd uh, start out over that ridge over there and then see if we could find them. Actually, I got a better idea. Why don't you all head back to town, get cleaned up, and get something to eat? Then we can sit down and come up with a real plan. Well, I say as long as Nelson's out here, so are we. You know, we're just burning daylight with this bullshit. Mr. Greeley, 
I don't think that's bullshit at all. I think that's what we need to do. Yeah? Well, you know what? I don't care what you think. This guy's my best friend. I'll be damned if I'm... Boys! Boys! I think you're absolutely right, Red. We could use a break. And we appreciate everything you've done. We're just a little tense. Yes, ma'am. I understand. I'll see you back in town. We're not really going back to town, are we? Of course not, you idiot. Mike? Oh. My brother. Oh, Mike. Mike, right. How is that son of a bitch? Nelson. Sorry. This never happened. Jeez, Margo. Please be careful. I don't want to scratch this. Fine. You do it then. I gotta pee. I, I love you. Get down! 
I didn't think I'd make it out alive. I... I had a lizard. Poor baby. Come on. Let's just rest here, okay? Jack. That bastard. He tried to kill me. Push me over a cliff. He's insane. I know. God damn it, Marlon, move. Thank God he didn't try to hurt you. What are you doing here? I managed to get away, too. I've been hiding in the desert just like you. I... You did? Damn it. How come you look so good? Get down! I just don't understand. No! Did you have water? Kind of. Have you seen Jack? Margo! You. Margo, what are you doing? What was that for? Because I love you. I love you so much. Because I love you. I love you so much. Jack! He's getting away! Kate, Jack! Kate, Jack! Check just came in. Good, let's have a look. Nothing on any of them. Lean as a whistle. Thought you might be interested in this, though. Came up under Mr. Yeager's name. Filed a few days ago. Got his house broken into. Armed robbery. Assault with a deadly weapon. No suspects in custody. This hadn't been his week, has it? What's wrong now? What's wrong? What's not wrong? This is fucking nuts, Margot. Will you get in the car? We need to find him. How many times do you think we can blow that sheriff off? Let's just go back to the hotel. We'll stay there longer. No! We are close. I can feel him. 
We're killing ourselves here. We need to rethink our shit, you know? What do you say we just pack it in and we just call this day a bust, all right? Okay, Jack. I mean, so what if he does come back? So what? Keep in mind, Margo, I'm a lawyer. Can we just remember that? How could I forget? You're the one who talked him into the prenuptial. Yeah, well, that's before we... Look, all I'm saying is legally, we hold the trump card in this... Take up! You spineless, oh. dickless worm. I knew you couldn't go through oh. with this. Just... I invested too much time in this. Do you understand me? Yeah, just let go. I'm the one who stayed with him because you said, wait until the time is right. Just let go. We had a deal, Jack, and you haven't once come through on your end. I, I, I was gonna... You what? You fucked up, Jack. You still want out, Jack, then get out, but I'm going through with this. Just find him. I can't do it without you. Okay, uh, okay, we were headed back and then we got lost and then we had to sleep, okay? So, got a problem, Billy Joe Bob? Yeah, you're in my way. Well, maybe you can go around. Can you manage that? Maybe you'll just have to move. Yeah? You're gonna make me move, are ya? Yeah. Ah, shit. Maybe I can. Look, we don't need any of this shit, all right? Let's just, let's just settle this without any... God damn it! Just hold on a second, man, all right? What do you want? You want money? Hey, I remember you. How you doing, baby? I'm doing all right. How are you? Oh, I'm better now. Oh, you got a nice smile. I do. God damn it! <laughs> Am I leaving now? You heal Billy Fuck! Huh? Am I leaving? No! Who the fuck do you think you are? You try to run us off the road, and then you threaten me with a fucking BB gun? No! No, come on, cut me some slack. Come on. Come on, man! Don't worry. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you, Tex. You ain't no tough now! Jack. What?
you sure they won't bother us? Uh, they're probably more afraid of us than we are of them. Looks like you was in a one-armed fight with a ten-armed man. Feel about that way. Who did this to you, Carl? Some shitty fuckwad in a BMW. I was just minding my own business and the bastard attacked me. Now, Carl, was this the same guy you tried to run off the road a couple days ago? Oh, hell. I was... I was just trying to give his woman a little smile. He didn't have to come and bust me up. She's not his woman. Yeah. Well, if she was, and she sure as hell did act like it. They was humping like jackrabbits while I was lying there, coughing up my insides. Who, <laughs> doggy, she was fucking beautiful. <laughs> It's gotta be him. I'll drive. Prince they stopped. Where the hell did he go? He can't be far. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's like he's a fucking ghost or something. He's not real. That's why we can't find him, Margo. He's dead already. Will you stop that? What was that? He must have double bypassed or something. Double what? What? You mean doubled back? Whatever. He jumped off the trail back here. No. He's never been that smart. He is now. you wait. The Ridgecrest boys will be here in a couple of hours. Every minute I wait gives them another minute to find him. I'm not going to take that chance. Red, don't go doing anything stupid. <laughs> How else have I ever done things, Tilly? What part of no don't you understand, Jack? Just listen to me, okay? We have to go back for gas anyway. Let's just grab a shower. We'll put in an appearance with the sheriff. And then we can just lay. Oh, shit. Oh, 
no. No, 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 shit. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, this is great. This is just, oh, fuck. 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 Oh, we're fucked. We are so fucked. He took all the food, too. Oh, great. That's great, Margo. That is fucking great. You happy now? Huh? Are you happy? Do I look happy? We couldn't just pack it in and give it up, could we? God damn it! Shit, we're fucked! You said that already. Well, I'll say it again, Margo. We're fucked, all right? Fucked! Fucked! God damn it. Why did I ever listen to you? I should have bailed out on this whole thing when you gave me the out. You should have killed him in the first place. All right, all right, all right! All right, all right! He got lucky! He didn't get lucky, Jack. You are a loser. I cannot believe I ever thought you would pull this off. Shut up. You're a big, fat loser, Jack. You can't do one thing right. Shut the fuck up! What does the truth hurt, Jack? You want to hear more? You are a lousy lay. A two-stroke, in-and-out, come-in-your-hand wonder, a zero, a nothing. Shut up, you stupid bitch! Shut up! Are you going to kill me, Jack? I might. I don't think you're going to. I don't think you're man enough. You'd give this up, Jack? Where'd you find some sweet stuff like this, huh, Jack? Where are you gonna find something like that? I don't think you could. I don't want to play this game anymore. I'm out. told you I'm through with this. We got him now, come on! He's just trying to lead us further into the desert. Well, give me the rifle, then I'll do it! <laughs> yeah? Let you shoot me in the back? No fucking way. Knowing you, you could probably kill him without a gun, Margo. God damn it, Jack, get back here! for shooting mr. Yeager kill him <laughs> 
the sheriff's down there. Come with me now. You're going to be all right. Do it! We're going to get you some help. Do it! Are you Mr. Jaeger? Give me that gun! Oh, Jesus. No. Give me the goddamn gun! Oh, God. Fucking sheriff. Give me more bullets. yourself for this, Nelson. The way I see it now, you have two choices. You either come out and make it easy on yourself or you die in there. Either way, you are trapped. You want to hear something, Nelson? Huh? Jack and I, we fucked three times on our wedding day. I could barely walk down the aisle. And you, oh, you didn't have a clue. He knows how to touch me. And he knows where to touch me. He is so hot. He is a man, Nelson, not like you. You wouldn't even know where to begin. You know how you always wanted children, Nelson? And I said I couldn't have them. Well, that was a big fat lie. You actually got me pregnant one time. <laughs> and I had an abortion because I would rather die than bear your fucking offspring. <laughs> I think I got to him. I can feel him squirming. <laughs> Jack, go in there and flush him out. In there? I don't think so. Look, I'm not, I'm not going in there. You want him to come out, he's got to come out to us. We've got to... smoke him out.
really gotta get out of here. Not yet. What? You think he's still alive in there holding his breath? Let's go, we got him. I'll know when we got him. Margo? Not now, Jack. I really think you ought to see this. God damn it. You keep going. I'll see if I can get him off. out, Jack? No. You know, right? You know I don't. Come on, baby. We're in this together. Please, Sid, help me. Oh, Jesus. I didn't want to kill you. It wasn't my idea. She made me do it. Bye-bye, Jack. You now said, Shut up! How does it feel?
Not very smart, Margo. I'm the only one that can save you, Margo. You're going to die if you don't get help. Shut up! Don't do it, Margo. Shut up! You can't kill me, Margo. Goodbye, Nelson. Goodbye, Margo.